I'm right at the top end of Stocksbridge Park Steels, it's now owned by Liberty Steels. I wish I had an interesting chat with the security guy before I start the video, but what I'll do is I'll start from this side of the steel company and then you'll get me starting again at the other side part of the way through it. But very interesting, knowledgeable security guy really interested in his company that he works for which is a lot big, big, bigger difference than what I got when I went to the security guy at Brinsworth Street Mill I think I knew more about it than he actually did but this guy was extremely knowledgeable so what he was telling me is that there's going to be some more of the steel company sold off and they're going to build the cinema and other entertainment type things and it seems to me that more and more that that's happening but I want to see a resurgence actually in our manufacturing base let's uh, manufacture cleanly again in the UK I think we cut our carbon footprint down more because the net zero is fake because we're actually importing our goods from abroad which creates energy and then we don't know what they're doing to produce the goods at the other end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down from this top end and hopefully I'm going to be able to capture some bird's eye view of the steelworks. But I'm told that if I have a word with the people who run Liberty Steels, I might get a trip round. But I only want a trip round if I can video it and show you guys what it's like on a steelworks. But what I was also told is that the only finished steel here now, the, I think there were art furnaces here, they've been shut down, so what they're doing is they're getting the steel in billets from Oldwick at Rotherham, and then what they're doing is rolling and finishing them here. So, uh, But what I'm told is there was some sort of vacuum induction furnace of some kind, that, or it's still here, that has been bought, that will turn a rusty piece of metal into a, a bright new silver bar. But the problem is there's not much... Uh, wanting of that uh, process which is a shame but let's see what i can see from this side of the plant and then halfway through the video it'll start again as i'm videoing from the beginning and i'm not so uh just bear with me so stocksbridge is set in a beautiful valley and like i said i wish i'd spoken to the security guard before i set off because he told me that Samuel Fox started in 1888 or 1886 you know those rough years and started off making umbrellas of all things but the company's grown over the years it's a really long plant along here and I'm hoping from this side at some point I'll get some bird's eye view to complement the other stuff I've done as well so let's see what I can get from this angle so it's quite a beautiful walk along here but not a lot to see as opposed for the steelworks but like I said it, the video will roll on and you'll see some of the steelworks as we get further down so you can see Stocksbridge Steelworks in the valley here it's probably the best view I've got and that looks like some sort of extractor fan along the top of the building so I'm guessing that is the melting shop or was the melting shop but they don't melt here anymore which is a shame but you can see the valley it's quite quite pleasant so if you walk from the new shopping centre along the high street you can come all the way back round onto this footpath round the back I'll see what else I can find from this angle so there's another angle you can see the new housing going up there on what I think is green belt so there's no actual, well, there used to be 15,000 jobs here, there's only about 4,000 now. So, you know, it doesn't make sense to have more and more people living around here, I wouldn't have thought. 
because then they're going to have to commute elsewhere. But that's how things are. Just want to build all over our green belt or put people in rabbit huts in Sheffield City Centre. As you can see, there's a little bit of nature around here. Mother with her young. You can see here, there's quite some power coming from the grid system. Up here, I'm assuming it's coming into the steelworks. There's so many houses around here, but through 15,000 jobs, I can understand people living in the community where they worked. I can't believe the size of this power plant just here. But if you had electric cart furnaces on here, I can imagine it was pulling out some real energy and they're working 24-7 probably. So I'm now dropping back onto the level I've been on and filmed previously, so it'll follow on. Like I said, it's probably two, three, four mile walk. all around the uh, steel plant but it's been done up with the nature side of things on this side certainly good for a bit of exercise and if you're interested in seeing more of it you can pick it up from here on my video so this is a view looking right down on top of Fox Valley you can see Aldi there, Iceland. They're all the normal names you see on the high street. So I'm in Stocksbridge Valley and what I'm doing is I thought I'd just show you what's left of Samuel Foxes. Now I know Samuel Foxes is British Steel Stocksbridge back in the 1980s. I came here on the odd occasion when I was working in the telecommunications area of British Steel on the uh, wash lane because the, there's a telecommunications area in here or there was in the past and now it's Liberty Steels so I've come right round the back end to see what we can see of the steelworks. I don't know how active it is anymore but uh, we'll proceed back along here and I'll show you what I can show you. But let's have a discussion about re-engineering the UK. For the moment, what we're doing is we pushed our industry out to the rest of the world and we have no control over the pollution out there. So if we really want to control what pollution we create when manufacturing goods, we should be doing it in the UK. But I think we have to give over the nonsense about CO2 warming. What we should be dealing with is real pollution. Real pollution that damages wildlife, causes cancer, etc. So when I can view down from this valley onto the steelworks, I'll start to show you. So there's some life still happening around here. Right over the top, that's some sort of extractor plant over there. But can anybody tell me what steel production is carried out at Liberty Steels at Stocksbridge now? It always looked quite a run-down company compared with where I worked at British Steel Rotherham, but you know that's just my view on it. I don't know if that if it's just looking through a different window. So it's set in a really beautiful valley, it must have been some place before industry came along. But I'm guessing Samuel Fox's was around a long, long time ago. Would have started off really small and then expanded more and more. So I don't know how much it expanded under British steel. You can start to see some of the uh, sheds down there. See if we can get a better view as we uh, walk down. 
But this road runs all the way around the bike and you can see this electric feeder plant still buzzing away. So I don't know if this is for Stocksbridge town or whether it's for the steel plant itself. But you can have a walk up here around this back road. You can see the uh, the town on the other side with the steel works right in the valley in between. So can anybody tell me more about Stocksbridge Steelworks? Are these rolling mills of some kind down here? So we're coming down to a new development down here. And I don't know if this new development is actually part of the old steelworks. But this I understand is the main entrance. But if you look at this current building here, when you see the next video on the town centre of Stocksbridge, it's either been done in harmony or it is part of the old steelworks that's been cleaned up, I don't know. But whenever I came to British Steel Stocksbridge, I always came in down towards where the dam is. So just let's get around the corner on this one. So you can see more uh, Liberty Steels up there. And one of my big concerns is, is Liberty Steel a foreign owned company? Or is it a management buyback in the UK? Because I'm getting fed up about sit stripping UK companies if, if these are foreign companies, because they were originally owned by, was it Tatar? I can't remember. But the reason I'm going to say this is, I don't know if this was the old steelworks, we've got something now, a new shopping centre which I didn't know about, as you can see just here. So this is drawing custom away from the town centre itself. Rather than actually bullying up the town centre and putting in more parking, they build this and it's just going to kill the rest of the town centre. So. I'll just show you the front entrance on this video of the steelworks, but I don't know what that is over there, right in the... If I can see it... I'm struggling to see it on my screen, but there's actually a, a castle structure up there in the trees, but I don't think you'll be able to see it. Possibly. Yeah, I think you can just see that castle structure, so can anybody tell me what that's all about up there? So let's get down to the front gate now. So we're now at the front entrance of Liberty Steel. I'll just show you the front entrance and wrap this video up. But like I said, we need to have a conversation about reindustrializing the UK stop pushing our pollution out to the rest of the world, take responsibility and bring back some decent jobs to the UK at the same time. So uh, let's just get across this busy road. So we're around the main entrance and like I said I'll wrap the video up of the steelworks and start on the next bit. But I've just been talking to somebody and I always find out talking to people you find out a lot more information but I do believe there are asset stripping here you can see quite a nice old building here it's got Samuel Fox on it just there I hope we can get him better But I was told this area over here, you can see now, it's a new shopping centre called Fox Valley, was the low yard where they stored all the steel. Told that the steel melting don't happen here anymore. And um, 
So this was part of the steelworks down here. It's now an, an outer town shopping centre. I'm just being told, I'll just show it you from a different angle. So I was told that you can see something that says RS Spice on the side. I'm told that was the gym for the people who worked at the steelworks over here. And it got bought out by the guy who now owns this Fox Valley. He shut it down. Uh, built his own gym or something actually inside here, a poses type of place. And they had a bit of a sit-in and they managed to reopen the a gym back over there for these guys. They want a proper gym, not one of these poser type gyms that you get nowadays that you pay for the nose for. So that's the end of the video. Anybody can tell us anything, but to me it all looks like it's been asset stripped uh, from, from what I see. I see it across where I worked at British Steel Rod and these people get older and just strip out what they can strip out of it. So that's the end of the video on that.